Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and use a function to manipulate some character values. <clears throat> in this uh, data set that we have open, it's a, a bunch of different uh, employees' uh, address information, like their, their employee name, their uh, zip code, their street name, uh, their city, their state. And so what we're going to actually do here is we're going to use the uh, a function, the cat x function, <clears throat> to basically combine the city and state into one new column. So, if, and we're going to use the query builder for this. So, first thing we do is go ahead and open up the query builder. And we're going to have to create a new column, so we're going to use computed columns. So, we go to new, advanced expression, click next. And this opens up our, uh, our functions. So, if we go to the functions uh, drop down menu, we're going to use the CATX, cat X. Okay, so here it is. So we double click, <clears throat> and so first thing we want to do is uh, is the, the the first the first thing we're going to put in here is how we separate our values. Um, if if we want to do a space, you basically just do a, uh, a apostrophe space another apostrophe, and whatever you put in between the the apostrophes will will be what separates the uh, our uh, our two uh, character values. So for this, we're going to use a uh, comma to separate the city and the state when we have them combined into our new column. So we do apostrophe and then a comma and one more apostrophe. <clears throat> and then we do another comma to separate our arguments. So the next thing we do is uh, we we put in our first uh, <clears throat> the first thing we want to uh, kind of combine. Uh, so we go to our tables, we go to our variables. So we're combining city and state. So we'll do city first so we have it in the, the right order. So we double click city, pops up here. And the next thing we do will be our state. Okay, so we have all three of our arguments. The first one is how we're gonna separate uh, city and state. Then we have city, which we're extracting everything in the city uh, column. And then we have state. So we'll have everything that's in the state column and we'll basically combine these two into one new column. So we click next. And we'll go ahead and name this location. <clears throat> and click finish, close it, and click run. Oops, uh, one thing I forgot to do is we got to move all of our variables over. I'll do that real quick and then run it. <clears throat> okay, so here's our new location variable. You see it has the cities separated by a comma, then the state. That's exactly what we wanted. <clears throat> now let's use a, a different function to see the character length of this uh, new location uh, variable. Uh, let's go to Modify Task, which opens up the Query Builder again. Go to Computed Columns, since we're using another function. Click New, Advanced Expression, click Next. So we open up our Functions uh, menu, and we're going to use K Length. So we double click K-Link, and we want to use the new computed column location that we just created. So we go all the way down to our computed column, click location, <clears throat> click next, and we'll name this location length. And we click finish, close it, <clears throat> run. Okay, this actually make this easier to look at. Let me put these two next to each other. Okay, run. Yes. Okay, so location, here's our original computed column, <clears throat> and then here's our location length. This this basically measures out the uh, the length of all the, the character values. Notice that it doesn't just look at the the actual letters, but every character, including spaces in these names. So if you look at the first one, uh, Miami Dade, Florida. It's separated by a little little dash right here, <clears throat> a hyphen, and that's included in the carriage only. If you count it out, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So every character in there, including spaces, commas, anything you have in there, will be will be counted, not just the letters themselves. And there's just a couple of quick functions that <clears throat> that we can use to uh, manipulate character values.